Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16.2. This update is currently on beta 1, but it's really, really good. It has a lot of new features and we have been discovering even more, which are really awesome and some new ones that are coming pretty soon to iOS 16.2 that will make it even better. Now, before we get into the video and talk about the new features and everything else you need to know about this update, I just want to thank you guys for the support that you have been giving to my channel lately. Most of my recent videos have done really, really good. So I want to thank you guys for watching the videos and of course, subscribing to the channel. And if you're one of those that haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so. It really helps out a lot. And we're starting with the app store. Have you ever noticed that when you go to the app store and you search for something or you just go to the search section right here, you will see ads just like this one. But now on iOS 16.2, if you go into a page on an app or a game, whatever that is, you will most likely also see ads right here in pages of apps. This is new to iOS 16.2. New to iOS 16.2 is also Apple News integration on the weather app. Now this is currently available only on US as far as I know, but you will see right here, this is from 9 to 5 Mac and you can see we have the weather app right here, but you will also get like news here. So it looks like it's for US and Canada currently, hopefully with the public release of iOS 16.2, it will be available on more regions. But currently, if you have iOS 16.2 beta one on your device and you live in US or Canada, make sure you go ahead and check the weather app. You will most likely see news right here for different weather conditions, maybe in a storm or something right on the weather app. New to iOS 16.2, again found by our friend iDevice Health, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to him as well, is the ability to actually report the accidental triggering of the crash report system. As you probably know, on newer iPhones, they have a crash report system, but if by accident, by accident that has been triggered, now you can of course write a report right here. Now, previously there was also a feature also on iOS 16.2 to report accidental SSOS, SOS calls that was also discovered by our friend iDevice help. So this one right here is the same, but now for the crash report system. Now this feature right here, I'm pretty sure is new to iOS 16.2 because I haven't noticed it at all on previous iOS versions. Maybe it's old, maybe it's just me, I haven't noticed it, but I truly believe this is new to iOS 16.2. Just noticed right there the items on the status bar. When you have something on the status bar like for example, you have right here, you can see the dynamic island. You can see how they adjust right there, that animation, how they adjust to actually fit right here. And you can see the dynamic island will basically become smaller to leave room there for the other items of the status bar. That's a really, really nice animation that I haven't noticed before on iOS 16. With the release of iOS 16.2, Apple has also released a new app called Freeform. Now, when you go to your settings on iOS 16.2, you will also find a section for Freeform. Just under reminders here, of course, under the stock Apple apps, you will find Freeform. Now, what you will get here is alignment guidelines. Right here, you can customize your guidelines, so standard guidelines, edge guidelines, and spacing guidelines. From here, you will be able to actually enable or disable those, of course, however you need them. There is also a UI update on the music app, a new button right here, new look for the lossless music audio right here on the stock music app of iOS 16.2. And now let's talk about something really important and that is of course battery life. Now battery life on iOS 16.2 beta 1 has been quite good in my experience using iOS 16.2 on my daily driver here. Of course this is a newer device with 100% battery capacity right here. You can expect it to have good battery life but again with this first beta it's actually quite good. So you can see right here under 100% right there we got 6 hour 53 minutes. Just keep in mind that I have played some games here so that's why of course it will have less screen time but if we go right here to the previous day when I didn't actually play a lot here we have 80% battery and that's 9 hours and 18 minutes on screen. That's actually quite good. Basically, there will be a difference between this and of course iOS 16.1. 
I can say maybe 2 to 3% better battery life you can expect to have on iOS 16.2. Hopefully, it will even improve until the release of iOS 16.2 to the public. But for now, it's actually looking good. Let me know in the comments right down below if you have installed iOS 16.2. How is battery life on your device? And now let's talk about performance. Now, performance on iOS 16.2 Beta 1 has been quite good. You cannot expect from a beta to have an amazing performance, but it's actually quite good here on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. You can see here we have iOS 16.1, single core score 1888, while the single core score on iOS 16.2 Beta 1 is 1892. Keep in mind that iOS 16.1 was the public release right there and here we have the multi-core score so we have a slight decrease here hopefully of course it should improve with the next beta so we have here 5492 while we have 5537 again a slight decrease there but it's actually looking quite good on the everyday use i didn't even notice that this is a beta it's actually quite smooth and now let's talk about ios 16.2 beta 2 as you probably have noticed, Apple has moved to a two-week schedule with iOS 16.2 betas. Probably this will be the only one that will be on a two-week schedule. Beta 3 should come right a week after Beta 2. So what can we expect from iOS 16.2 Beta 2? Of course, new features, improvements and all that. But there is a feature we know about that is coming to iOS 16.2. And I believe it should come with the beta 2 and that's the ability to update more frequently the live activities on the lock screen as you know that's a new feature on ios 16.1 and with 16.2 it will get even better so what we have right here you can see allowing more frequent updates will let you see more real-time information but of course it can drain your battery so it will allow apps the ability to update live activities more frequently with more information on the lock screen again of course that should impact the battery life but that will be a choice that will be a setting that you can enable or disable it apple ios one just force you to do that you can enable or disable that from the settings of each app. Just like you have the ability to enable or disable live activities for certain apps, you will be able to do that for the frequent updates as well. So what's next? When can we expect iOS 16.2 Beta 2? Now I would expect it to be released on November 7th or 8th, so that will be Monday or Tuesday, probably most likely one of these two days will be the release of iOS 16.2 Beta 2, since it has been almost two weeks now since the release of Beta 1, and this update probably won't have a lot of betas, probably will go around five betas, and then the RC version, and then of course the final release. And when we're talking about the final release of iOS 16.2, a report from Mark Grumman from Bloomberg, a very trusted source when it comes to Apple related stuff, states that iOS 16.2 should come around the mid of December. So based on that, I would expect iOS 16.2 to come out to the public around the 12th or the 13th of December. Now looking at the calendar right here, you can expect right here beta 2, probably beta 3, beta 4, and then beta 5 and then the rc version somewhere around the first week of december and then the second week of december we should see ios 16.2 getting released to the public so that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and all the new information regarding ios 16.2 again a great great update i'm really loving this one it has a bunch of really cool new features so i hope you guys again enjoyed the video leave a like if you did of course if you want to see more videos make sure to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one